gosh, guys, look how deserted the airport is. I mean, it is 11.30 p.m. at night, but I've like never seen Honolulu Airport like this before. Okay, hi. I am decked out in all of my gear. <laughs> um, got gloves on, got the whole thing. I am ridiculously uncoordinated, but I kind of couldn't care less. Um, this is really weird. This is what flying during a pandemic is like. Like, basically every single part of my body that has almost like exposed skin or almost every part is covered. So, this is really interesting. Um, I just checked in. It was totally fine. They just had glass like covering between you and the person that was checking you in. Um, but it went like super smoothly. There was nothing really special about that. Um, I got my boarding passes. Sorry if it's loud, you can't. There's a loud speaker going off, but I got my boarding passes, but they only checked me in for my flight from Honolulu to San Francisco and then San Francisco to Tokyo Narita. And my flight from Narita to Incheon is on Jeju Air. So they said I'm gonna need to go to the gate and get my boarding pass like when I land in Narita. So I only have two boarding passes right now, but I think that's okay. I should be fine. I think Jeju Air is like the, one of the only airlines, if not the only, that's going in between um, Japan and Korea right now. So I'm glad I'm on it. I'm about to go get into security. So it says no mask, no entry for security. Interesting, so you have to have a mask. No differentiation between pre or regular passengers because there's literally Okay, that's less than a minute later. That's literally the fastest I've ever been through pre-check in my life. Um, what is this? This is so crazy. I'm dying. It's like 80 something degrees outside. This is, this is very necessary for someone who's gonna be flying 25 hours. Oh no. Also, I don't even know if you guys can understand me with this mask. Like, is this even worth talking? I don't know. Also, I'm in a bathroom. That's why I'm whispering. I've already ripped through my gloves, so that's great. Literally, it was like as packed as a flight as I've been on like pre-COVID. It was no empty middle seats, like everyone packed next to each other. And then when we got up and we're like getting our bags and getting ready to deplane, the captain was like, please stay six feet apart. Please stay six feet apart. And like kept repeating that. And everyone was just laughing because it was like the entire flight, we were like arm to arm with everyone else. So it just made no sense. Um, yeah, so. I landed in San Francisco at like 7 something a.m. Um, it is now 10 15 a.m. And I had like two calls right when I landed. So that was fun. I was not coherent for any of them. Um, so I apologize to the people I was talking to. I probably sounded so out of it, which I was because I only got an hour of sleep. Um, and then I just like in a airport chair and that's how the three hours went by <laughs> and now I'm walking to my gate
This is so cool. You can control the tint of the window. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it's like tinted like super blue right now. And then when I do this, it opens up and lets like a lot of light in. That's so cool. So instead of shades, that's what they have. I'm feeling a lot better. I've got three three seats to myself. I'm pretty sure no one's got them yet. And on the seat map, it didn't show that anyone had them, so I think I'll be able to lay out and sleep, which is great because it's like an 11 hour flight. So, look how dark the windows are now. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but they're like a bright turquoise. That's how it's ended there. This is so cool. When you enter in Korea, you have to have isolation in two weeks, so we need your sign in here. So, Korea, you can speak Korean? A little bit? <laughs> you can read it. You cannot read it, this paper, right? Uh, I mean. So, uh, from here, your name and nationality and passport numbers. Please fill out this information. And then please sign to here. Yeah. Okay. I'll just move that. so many updates um but a lot happened because my camera died right when i was going through my temperature check and everything so i have to go downstairs in like five minutes they just dropped off breakfast basically long story short i'll get into it later but we are at a hotel mm. i had like a slight fever like slight like a normal is 98.6 i think i was like 99 and then it came down to like 98.7 they still were like mm, you're like a little high so i was sectioned off with like a bunch of people and we were all taken through like so many temperature checks and everything 
through like immigration, like everything. Healthcare workers led us to a bus. There was like maybe 15 of us. And then we went like one minute to this hotel, which is like the airport hotel. And then they put us in here and they're just like, basically we're waiting for your test results because we got tested for Corona. I think everyone gets tested eventually, but we got tested at the airport. It hurt so much. The guy just took it in both because for some reason it wouldn't work in the first one. I don't know. He tried this nostril and then it wouldn't work. So he did this one. He was really nice though. And then they did, they did a, sw a throat swab. And then they did a throat swab. And yeah, wow. I can insert a picture, but it's like, they stick it all the way back. Crazy. And there were like these little orange booths where you just went and got tested inside. And it was like, they wiped it down in between each person. And it was really well done. They really are so synchronized and on top of their stuff. So props to the Korean government. Um, but anyway, yeah. So I spent the night in the hotel. And... We're supposed to go downstairs to check out by 8.35. I'm still not entirely sure what's going to happen because I'm the only... I'm the only American. Um, I can speak a little Korean, so I'm getting by with that. But everyone's been super nice and been helping me. Yeah, I think they're going to take us back to the airport now. And I'm not sure what's going to happen. They called at like 7 o'clock this morning. We're just like, be ready. Um, and then another woman called me later at like 7.30. And she was like, your test results are negative. Um, please be downstairs by like 8.15. We're going to check out at 8.35. So I'm just scarfing down my breakfast because I don't know when I'm going to get food next. And then I'm going to check out and we'll see what happens. All right. I have everything. need to bring down my passport and my room key. And let's see what happens. Changed out of my airport attire into something a little better. Also, they separate the elevators by people without the virus and people with it, which is very smart.